In activity 1.2.4, you have to create these three parts in Fusion 360, which you dimensioned on a worksheet in class. Uh, so what I'm going to show you how to do in this video is just with part one, I'm going to show you how to create a multi-view drawing uh, of that part and dimension it. Uh, so before this video, make sure you have this folder created inside the folder that has your name on it. Uh, and you have part one completed. So part one should look like this. Uh, and then uh, you also will need to have this PLTW drawing template file in this folder as well. I know that we already added it to the uh, one, two, three folder in the previous activity, but you're also gonna need it in this folder because we're gonna be making drawings in here as well. So you, you need to have this template file in every single folder that you're making drawing files in. Okay, so in order to get this, you can either upload it from Classroom again, uh, where you downloaded it from, or if you go back, uh, I'll show you quickly, we can go to our previous activity, which is one, two, three. This is where you have it, so you can actually just copy this. So if you right click on this, go to copy, and then this, for me it says IED, but this right here is gonna have your name on it. So if you click on your name right here, and then click on our current folder, which should be the 124 uh, dimensioning folder. Double click on that and then just click copy. Uh, it will then go ahead and make a copy of this file uh, there. So if I go to 124 now, I'm actually going to have two because I already had one here. Um, so I'm just going to delete this one so I don't have two. So anyway, make sure you have that file here because we're going to be using it here in a second. So. Uh, what we're going to be doing by the time that we're done is our drawing is going to look like this right here. And then we're just going to add some dimensions to it. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and close out of this. Uh, and then we're going to just make a new one. So go up to design here, drawing from design. And then like we did last time, make sure you select the PLTW drawing template. Click OK. Again, it's going to be placing your front view. So we'll just place it here roughly in the bottom left. Click OK. And then we'll go ahead and project our other views. This time we're only going to use the top view and the isometric. We're not going to have a side view for this one because it's basically just going to be the same thing as this. Notice this really doesn't give us a whole lot of extra information about our part. It just shows that, that it's a rectangle. It's going to have some other hidden lines. Okay, so we're just going to leave that one off and then we're going to hit the uh, check mark here. Okay, let's go ahead and shade this. We'll right click on that, edit view change it, this option right here under style to the shaded style. Click OK. All right, like we did last time, uh, notice we have two holes this time. We have this one on the front view and this one on the top view. We're going to have to add center marks and center lines to these views. So I'm going to do the center marks first. And we can do the center lines as well. So with that, I'll just press escape to get out of that tool. And then what we can do now is we can start dimensioning, okay? And so to dimension uh, things, we go up here to our dimension tool. You can also press the D key on your keyboard, but you can also just access it right here. All right, and if you remember when we're dimensioning things, we wanna do this by feature. So the features that we have in this part are pretty obviously, we have this big hole here, and then we have the smaller hole right here. So I'm going to start with the bigger hole. And remember when you're dimensioning a hole, you need to dimension two things. You need to dimension the location and then you need to dimension the size. So what I'm going to do is dimension the location first. So I'm going to click on the center of this hole. And then I'm going to click on this point right here and get this dimension right here to dimension the width. I'm actually going to put that up on the top. Though. That's a better location for it. Okay. And then uh, we're going to click on the center again, and then this time we'll click on the top. I'll put it over here. Okay, so that's the location. Next, we need to dimension the size. So I'm just going to click on the edge of the circle, and then I'll just kind of draw that up here uh, for now, and that will dimension the size or the diameter of our circle. Okay, same thing over here. So again, I'm going to I'm going to zoom in here with the mouse wheel a little bit just because this one's a little bit smaller. I'm going to click on the center of the hole and then I'll click on the side, the edge here. 
and just drag that down. And then I'll click on the center of the hole again, and then we'll click on the bottom. And I'm gonna actually move this one all the way over here to the side, a little bit of a better spot for it. Okay, so that's the location for that one. Next, we need the uh, diameter of this. And then again, I'm just gonna click here and I'll just put it here for now. If these things are out of the way or it gets cluttered, we can always move them around later. So go ahead and zoom back out. Okay, so that's our features uh, dimension. The next thing that we wanna dimension is our uh, overall size uh, of our part. So we need to do the overall width, the height, as well as the depth. So I'm gonna go back up to my dimension tool here. And then let's do the width first. So if you notice, if I highlight my mouse over this, that is the width. I'll just click on that and then drag that up, place that. Uh, the other one is gonna be the height, which is gonna be this right here. So notice if you click on that, actually, that was highlighting, let me go back to the dimension tool. That was highlighting the dimension. So this can be kind of confusing as that's highlighting that extension line. Uh, so I'm having actually a hard time clicking that. So. A couple ways to get around that is you can either get this line and drag it over, or you can just click on the two corners from those green boxes and get it that way. Okay, so there's our height. The next and final dimension that we need is our uh, depth. Again, you can just click on this one here and place that view there, okay? And then I'm just gonna press escape to get out of uh, the dimension tool. And you'll notice it kind of put this one down here off to the side. I don't really like that. I would prefer to have the one in the middle. So if you just click on this dimension and then click and drag that dot, it'll allow you to move that dimension wherever you want. So I'm just gonna put that dimension in the middle uh, where I think it looks a little bit better. 0.75, I don't know if that's gonna fit in there nicely. We could, it's, I'm just gonna leave that one off to the side. That's really not that big of a deal. And this, I'm just gonna move a little bit more out of the way. And I think that is everything with this, this part. Uh, this part should be fully dimensioned now. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is just go up here and click save. And then I would just save this as part one drawing. And I already had one over here, so I'm just gonna put one drawing demo. Click save and just make sure that you can see that here. Uh, and then you can go ahead and move on. And again, you need to do this two more times. You need to make part two, which is gonna look something like that and then part three, and then make your two drawings uh, off of those parts as well, okay?